Hey everybody, today we're making Mexican enchilada meatloaf. Now, if you're not a fan of meatloaf in general, you gotta try this recipe because this Mexican blend is really delicious. I'm using my homemade enchilada sauce, which only takes just a few minutes to make up. I'm using my own taco seasoning, which I have a video for you, and uh, it, it really is delicious. We're using half ground beef and half turkey, but you can use any combination or all of one or the other whatever you like, and uh, it's really delicious. I think you're gonna love it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. So before we get into the recipe, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it, and you'll be notified every week when my new videos come out, and we're always cooking up something really delicious and healthy. So let's go over our ingredients. I just want to show you what's in this real quick. I've got my ground beef. Now I'm using 100% grass-fed, grass-finished uh, ground beef here that I got from Butcher Box. I have no affiliation at this point. Anyway, and I've also got some ground turkey. I've got some cheddar cheese here that I grated up. I'm using some taco chips, tortilla chips essentially, and I'm using the brand Siete. I love this brand. They are grain-free. Check out the ingredients here. You can see that they are really clean and very good. And so I highly recommend those, but in the case of this shelter in place, use what you have, improvise when you need to. Next up is my enchilada sauce. Now, this one happens to be gluten-free, but I have two uh, variations for you. I have a regular one and a gluten-free version video for you to check out. I'll leave those links down below in the description of this video. Next up, I have some super fine diced yellow onion, mushrooms. I like to add just a little bit and we don't really care for mushrooms in my house, but we love the flavor. And so I chop them super fine and nobody knows they're there, but the flavor is really good. Same thing with the bell pepper here. Uh, I just chopped that up super fine, cut it into little sticks and then chop it up and it's practically diced for you. We'll need one egg and I'm using Vital Farms here, pasture raised egg. And I've got my taco seasoning. Now this is where you're gonna get all your flavor along with the enchilada sauce. The taco seasoning, I have a video for you. I'll show you how to make it. It's really delicious guys. Make it ahead of time, have it. I keep it in my cabinet. I fill up empty containers and it's ready to go. Okay, so now we're gonna combine everything into our bowl here with the hamburger. So make sure your hands are clean and we're gonna just start with our taco seasoning. Now sprinkle it around because we don't want to overwork the meat. Next goes the mushrooms, the onions, and the bell peppers. And I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing this up. It works best just to use your hands as opposed to trying to stir it because that's not gonna work too well. All right, so now that we've got that started, I'm gonna add the cheese, and you wanna sprinkle that in. And then the chips. I'm gonna take a handful of chips and just break them up in your hands so that they're in small pieces. And don't forget, you can get the written recipe down below in the description of the video. So just click down there where it says show more. You wanna take your egg and mix it up before we add it in. That way it just mixes in a lot quicker and easier. So just whisk it up and then we'll just toss that into our meatloaf and we're gonna add some of our enchilada sauce. Now this enchilada sauce is gonna help keep this meatloaf super moist so it's not gonna be dry by any means. So we're gonna add a little bit of enchilada sauce right in there and back to it with hand mixing. Now you just wanna mix it until the egg is you know, mixed in combined. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees and we're gonna be putting this into a loaf pan. I've got a loaf pan here that is, uh, it's about nine by eight and a half by four and a half, something like that. All right, let's get our meatloaf in the pan. I didn't spray the pan, the pan with anything. Uh, it doesn't seem to stick because there's plenty of fat that comes out, renders out of the meat. So just work it in there. Then we're gonna finish this off with just a little more enchilada sauce right on top. So we're gonna drizzle that and kind of spread it around. 
and we're gonna bake this in the oven at 350. We're gonna check it at 40 minutes, but it's probably gonna go maybe 45 to 50. We want the internal temperature to be 165 degrees. All right, so here we go. So you're probably gonna have just a little bit of enchilada sauce left, and so it's like, what do you do with that? Well, here's what you can do for it. Make an appetizer while you're waiting for your meatloaf to cook. Take a, an oven-proof dish, pour out some tortilla chips on it, and drizzle the enchilada sauce over it. Top it with some cheddar cheese, pop it in the oven right next to the meatloaf, and those nachos will be done in probably 10 minutes. A great appetizer, so that's something you can do with it. I checked the meatloaf at 40 minutes and it wasn't quite up to 165, so I put it back in for 10 more minutes. And now it's done. It's been sitting for about five or six minutes just to cool a bit before we cut into it. But uh, I think we're ready to do that now. Now you can serve this up with, you know, mashed potatoes if you want, but I think my Spanish rice and refried beans, which I have videos for you, and I'll leave uh, links down in the comments, uh, in the description rather, and you can check that out there. Um, and by the way, I used uh, turkey thighs as opposed to turkey breast because it's a little more moist. It stays, you know, it doesn't dry out. And uh, yeah, here we go. Let's, let's give it a taste. This is one of the most moist uh, meatloafs I think you'll ever try. It's very moist, very delicious, flavorful. The taco seasoning really, you know, peps it up, gives it lots of good flavor. The enchilada sauce uh, definitely makes it taste, you know, makes you think of enchiladas. So it is very good, guys, and I hope you do give it a try. So that's our enchilada meatloaf. I hope you enjoyed it. Do leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if you're going to make it. And if you do make it, I certainly would love the feedback and, you know, have you guys tell me what you think about it. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to share the video, and we'll see you next time.